We know it's Wednesday, but when you go out to eat this weekend, you would like to think your favorite restaurant is keeping a clean kitchen. You'd hope so. Health inspectors found that's not the case at many spots. Here's Jason Berry with this week's all new Dirty Dining Report. White fuzzy growth on strawberries, mold spotted on sausage sticks. That's just a taste of the health code violations inspectors uncovered at Valley restaurants this week. Bogies on a rural road off Guadalupe Road in Tempe. Three major health code violations. Meat jerky not from an approved source. Brown organic matter in an ice machine. Food debris on a slicer. The Breakfast Club at First Street in Jefferson in Phoenix. Three violations. Nine boxes of strawberries with white green fuzzy growth. Roasted red salsa not kept cold enough. Chicken kept past its discard date. And the place with the most health code violations? It's a tie. Hawthorne Court at Ahwatukee Assisted Living at 48th Street and Ray Road in Phoenix. And AZ Ice at Greenfield and Ray Road in Gilbert. Both had five major violations. Hawthorne Court had raw ground beef stored above bacon. Deli meat not date marked. Pulled pork not cooling properly. Mixed vegetables out of temperature and pureed carrots not held hot enough. AZ Ice Gilbert had mold growing on sausage sticks, eggs stored above cheese, a can opener with food debris, hot dogs and chicken wings out of temperature, and steak not date marked. Both places are now on notice to clean up or could face legal action. Jason Berry for Arizona's Family. All right, Jason, thanks. And here are the spots that are keeping things clean. The Dean's List of restaurants with perfect health inspection scores. They include some boroughs at Baseline and Mill and Tempe, Barrows Pizza at Brown and Gilbert Roads in Mesa, Cranberry Hills at Central and Thomas in Phoenix. Oscars Pier at 83rd at 59th Avenue in Union Hills in Glendale. Original Geno's at 23rd Avenue in Camelback in Phoenix and Cantina Wero's at Lake Pleasant Parkway in Happy Valley in Peoria. Hey, scene.